Did you think that uh, you'd be able to walk in and uh, win both pommel horse and uh, parallel bars uh, at this um, competition? To be honest, no. Uh, especially watching the other guys go before me, just because I was at the end of the rotation. Yeah, um, yeah they, they were throwing out some good routines and some high scores, so I, I wasn't too sure what, what I could do with that, but uh, hit my routines, and I guess they were good enough to, uh, to win the day. So. Uh, how much have your routines changed since uh, last summer when you went to the Olympics? Uh, since last summer, I haven't really added too much uh, onto my palm horse routine and my pee bar routine. Uh, just a, a couple skills here and there, but uh, I guess for next year, I'm going to have to do some, uh, I guess, renovations on my uh, palm horse and my uh, pee bar routine, and mostly my high bar routine. So uh, we'll see how uh, how my routines are looking. Probably at about League Canada time. It's a pretty different setup on the team this year with sort of half of the, the vets now retired that, w that you were used to. So now you're one of the real vets with all these young guys coming up. What's that like with those younger fellows, especially when there were so many in the uh, event finals tonight pushing you as senior guys? Yeah, it, uh, it definitely keeps you on your toes. Uh, you know, these young guys coming up are, are all very, very strong athletes. So, uh, you know, it, it, it drives me, I guess, harder. Uh, just to try and uh, keep up with them, I guess. Uh, but yeah, other than that, uh, you know, I, I look forward to, I guess, filling the role of you know the, the veteran on the team along with Nathan and uh, Adam and Brandon. But uh, yeah, I think it's a good situation for me.